Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my channel is about orchids, carnivorous plants, everything in my greenhouse, and more. On today's video, we are going to do an update on my carnivorous plant called a pinguicula, or butterwort. I have got a few of them in bloom right now, and I just want to show you some of the blooms up close. So this one here is just opening. This one here is called a Ping Morancis. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's see if I can get the focus on it. Anyway, it's just opening, but it's a beautiful pinky purple flower on it. These guys bloom almost continuously for me in the summertime. And it's one of the larger pings that I have. I call them pings. Uh, that's just short for pinguicula. So they have um, these carnivorous leaves here. You can see all the black spots that are on them. Those are all little fungus gnats that it's captured. Moving on here. This one here is called the Ping Aphrodite. This is the first time it's flowered for me. I haven't had any of these very long. I just started this collection this year. So they were all very tiny when I got them. Pinguiculas grow very fast in the right conditions and are easy to um, propagate. They work well in a house or in a greenhouse. So if any of you windowsill growers out there want to get into carnivorous plants, this might be a good one. This guy here, there's two in this shot here. Let's move that camera up a bit. So we'll start with this one. This is my Pinguicula Morances G. It has a beautiful purple flower on it, a good size as well. And this little guy here has got a white center with sort of a purple rim. That is a Pinguicula anginata. Very profuse grower. There's actually three in the pot. There's another bloom right there that's starting to fade. There's another bloom right here that um, has faded. You can see all the fungus nets that it's caught. Now the way I grow these is in a tray. And the tray at this point doesn't have any water in it, but it's due for a watering again quite um, soon, probably in the next day or so. I'm going to fill this tray half full with water and let them have a good drink. And then I'm just going to slowly let the tray dry out again and then repeat. Pinguiculas don't like to be sopping wet all the time, but they don't like to dry out either. So it's a fine balance between the two. And if you can achieve that, you'll have great success with them. They're great in with orchids. They help uh, clean up the fungus gnats in the greenhouse for me. Although they're all predominantly green and they all have predominantly pink or purple flowers, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So that one there is kind of a cool one. Very different. It is a cross, gypsy cola, mokazume. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it hasn't flowered for me yet, but when I got those guys there, they were probably half the size of this ping here. Now another thing I do a little differently with my pinguiculas is in the soil, it's sort of a sundew mix, it's got some perlite and peat moss. I actually sprinkle a little bit of calcium sand as well to up the pH. Most of these are Mexican butterworts, and they grow on limestone cliffs, or so I'm told, in the wild, and like the higher pH. Definitely seems to show. They've um, grown for me leaps and bounds. Some of my babies have actually had babies here, like that one there, and I've been able to divide them. This one here, I can't wait, that one is a John Rizzi, I think it's called. It's a hybrid that has enormous purple pinky flowers on them and it's growing really well since I got it as well when I got these three the biggest one was half the size of the smallest one here the smallest one has a rock but anyways that is an update on my pinguicula collection I hope you enjoyed some of the flowers and blooms that I've showed you today if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel as always, thanks for watching.